Pinan here from Netherlands, Colorado for the Kusamarian. Anan, do you have a Sama? I'm not talking about Exosama, but Anan Sama from Sama Systems. At first glance, the collection may look simple, but in terms of NFTs with utility, you probably want to listen up and listen closely. This collection is all about data. Oh my God, analytics. I love analytics, you can tell. Ultimately anything, whether it's biology, chemistry, politics, technology, it can all be defined as a set of interactions and a set of interactions can always be defined as a graph. You can use very statistical measures to get abstract ideas from what's otherwise incomplete and unstructured data. Anon Sama NFTs seem brand spanking new, launching on October 1st, currently more than halfway through their auctions of the first 50 progenators, but the first tweet of its work was in February 11th. Anon Sama is the first on-chain, multi-chain NFT Twitter community. You might be confused by this mix of terms, but just connect your NFT ownership to your Twitter identity and voila, made possible by .sama's on-chain identity binding. What we're trying to do here is actually develop NFTs to be more of a bridge for social infrastructure for .sama. Because amazingly enough, I'm surprised that I'm being honest with you that we're the first people that are actually trying to do this is I think one of the most slept on parts of the .sama ecosystem, specifically in regards to NFTs, is the way that, you know, on Polkadot.js for both Kusama and Polkadot, as well as some parachains, the way that there's built-in identity to the blockchain that's super user-friendly where you can create a account on Kusama and you can actually on-chain link your Twitter handle to that. So what that actually means is if we have a set of NFTs, we can look at every address that is an NFT owner and then we can look up their address on the blockchain and if they have a Twitter handle added, we can use that to make a actually on-verified by NFT ownership Twitter list by programmatically and consistently updating the list based off of who's owning the NFTs. So we can actually, everything that I'm talking about here with how we're exploring the Datsama ecosystem, we can then do for actual NFT communities. Yes, of course there's more though. The goal is to build in-depth analytics of any community, using this first collection as a first proof of concept. The way I think of a non-sama is a lot like Kusama, in that we're trying to be the first one and work out all of the kinks and all of the parts that make it a little bit more difficult, so that we can then open source this, as well as for people that may be less tech literate and wouldn't be able to use the open source code themselves, it's actually just uh, do it for them. By using graph theory to streamline information discovery and networking, Sama Systems believes they can tap into social consciousness by verifying credibility, which is usually quite a daunting task by itself, and they are building tools to interpret that data. This allows collectors to follow each other and verify the value of information they are receiving through what is essentially on-chain reputation, even if the information isn't from official parachain channels. Based off of the different patterns of these interactions and some different graph analytics we can perform, you can get more insight into what are the more interesting profiles and more active community members under the surface based off of a context of trust and authenticity based on the fact that real parachain accounts are actually interacting with them. Okay, big deal you might be saying. Well, if you're not a data nerd, then here are some practical examples. First, Sama Systems believes on-chain identity verification of NFT ownership to certify community membership and authenticity will become standard. Beyond that, imagine if NFT communities could see their social network visually, see the influence each of their members and followers have in the larger ecosystem. What if airdrops and airdrop weights could require a certain social impact score? Eh? Yeah? One of the statistics that is performed with graphs a lot is something called a modularity algorithm, which is just a fancy way of saying, uh, how can we use statistics to try to isolate certain clusters or communities within the larger graph, just sub niches of sub niches. What if there were a massive crossover of Solana NFT community to the Kusama one? With the right community ambassadors, impact could be as simple as a well-targeted tweet. 
Do you need concrete data on the value of your NFT community's influence as you advertise your combined might of your membership to investors or project partners? See which people engage with your community tweets the most. Twitter membership lists for NFT communities would be automatically updated based on NFT ownership. No hassle. Your community could even mine its own data generated from membership tweets to better understand its own sentiments and trends. What you could do is find different clusters of communities and then actually look at who they're interacting with, as well as you could search for them on the tweet data. And this will give you some context into what that community is talking about. You can search through the tweets, the hashtags and domains, and this will give you a good idea of the content and discourse relative to that community or filter Twitter feeds by NFT collection holders or by followers of certain NFT collection members and get that alpha first. If you look at who we're following, it's a mixture of people that we follow back, people that are supporting the account, and then as well as just mostly a lot of actual builders in Dotsama. If you look at who we're following, you can see a lot of the main storytellers and uh, ambassadors and builders of the Dotsama ecosystem. What this actually does is once you start following and interacting with these high value accounts on Twitter, the algorithm will start favoring you better than other accounts. Because while I can't tell you exactly how the Twitter algorithm works, what I can tell you is that Twitter is indeed a social network and the algorithms that make up content recommendations and profile recommendation are still going to be loosely based on a lot of the same graph analytics that I'm talking about here. If you start interacting with and following the most important nodes on an information science level, the Twitter algorithm will start favoring you better and serving you better content as well as uh, serving you to other people and making your profile more easy to find by community members because you'll have that affiliation and authenticity and authority of being related to those core structural parts of the network on a information basis. Maybe you just want to know if the likes and retweets on a post are from the same echo chamber. If you uh, put in certain filters, they'll actually be able to rerun the layout algorithm. And then based off of how you're including or excluding the information, the layout algorithm will actually in real time be able to adjust to those changes and parameters and tell you a better story. The analytics will eventually support analytics for all parachains and all NFT communities and possibly other social graphs if accounts can be on-chain verified. The version 2 we're working on is a full React app that is more user-friendly and is more efficient and capable of being able to work with dynamic data. While general analytics will be available to the public, Sama Systems is in servitude of .sama communities after all. So Anon Sama NFT holders get their own dedicated branch and will be able to see a visualization of their own community network topography. Ever wonder where you stand across all communities in Dotsama? What eigenvector centrality is, it's the statistical way of asking who's the cool kid? You know, who are the most popular people interact with? But this is not only achieved by Twitter, but because of the design of the collection itself. There are these first 50 progenitors, which seed the initial development and the core community. But through October and November, Chaotic class variants will spawn from the progenitors until 500 NFTs exist, basically airdrop to progenitor holders, which you can gift, sell, or collect. Chaotic variants will also be integrated into the community tools. After that, all 500 Samas will spawn one more Sama of the Glitch class, doubling 500 to 1,000. Over time, the goal is 10K NFTs across 10 chains, starting with Kusama and moving to EVM next. Essentially, this is a verifiable networking through NFTs, organically shared and grown by the community itself, while appealing to collectors and investors. So what's the TLDR? The NFTs are memberships to individual analytics and community analytics, all while spawning more membership passes to be distributed as the tool sets grow. But there's one more thing. Chaos cores are given when the community votes for one member to receive recognition for value brought to .sama every week. By exchanging a Chaos core to Sama Systems, it opens up a new devoted analytics slot for an additional NFT community on the Sama Systems app. Do you have a favorite NFT community you want special analytics on?
buy or win a Chaos Core. Uh, you can think of it almost like a community network parachain on the Sama Systems backend where any other NFT community will be able to be supported by Sama Systems. So everything that we're that I just discussed uh, would be done for like another NFT community because we can do the same thing for feasibly any other NFT community on .sama or Moonbeam. As soon as the 50 progenitors are finished auctioning, the official community will launch. Does this sound interesting? Make sure you check out the full AMA done on WAG Media in the link below. So, are you a geek that believes that knowledge is power? Let me know in the comments. Have a great day, everyone.